My name is Nancy Moxie. Um, I'm doing a PhD with the School of Medicine at the University of Queensland um, and I'm doing my PhD in neuroimmunology with a focus on multiple sclerosis. So in multiple sclerosis there is a, a demyelination, so degeneration of the myelin in the central nervous system and we find that this is mediated by a particular type of cell in your immune system um, called CD4 T helper cells and these actually target proteins that are in the myelin coating on your nerve cells, on the axons of your nerve cells and we find that the targets of these cells are actually proteins um, in the myelin and a particular one is called myelin proteolipid protein or PLP and that's a protein actually of great focus for our group and our research um, and we actually try to not only study this protein um, to work out how it might actually play a role in the disease process itself but also how we may manipulate this protein to actually create a possible treatment for MS patients who have high immune cell reactivity to this protein. Um, PLP is actually of interest mainly to us because it's the most abundant protein in myelin so we feel that it's a very valid target um, for therapeutics but also a very valid target for the immune system um, to actually create damage um, in multiple sclerosis of the myelin. On one arm I am trying to look at possible mutations in this PLP protein possibly playing a role in disease pathogenesis but then I'm also looking at how we can use the protein to create a possible treatment um, and um, towards the treatment side, uh, what we do is we look at the protein PLP as a whole and we have done a lot of research um, looking at patients immune cell reactivity to this protein and we actually have looked at the different sections of the protein that actually create the most reactivity in patients and um, towards the treatment side, uh, what we do is we look at the protein PLP as a whole and we have done a lot of research um, looking at patients immune cell reactivity to this protein and we actually have looked at the different sections of the protein that actually create the most reactivity in patients. Um, and we find that some of them are actually uh, some of these reactivity sections or immunodominant pep epitopes of the peptide um, actually coincide with uh, sections that create disease in the animal model that we use to study multiple sclerosis, um, experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis or EAE. And so what we try to do is uh, take this protein and change the uh, amino acid residues of this protein to change the way that cells of the immune system actually react when they're exposed to this protein. Uh, we do this by, by changing the amino acid we create something called an altered peptide ligand or APL and we find that this technology uh, works very well at changing the way immune cells react. And this change in uh, the PLP protein to create an ultrapeptide ligand, APL. We are then trialing this as a possible treatment um, at this moment, at this time in the animal model of multiple sclerosis. So we induce the disease in the animal model and then try to treat their disease with the APL. Um, and this technology has been quite successful and very successful in our animal models. We foresee that it will probably be another f at least five years before we get it to phase one trials.